What's up, everybody? And welcome to Pillow Talk, Moment with the Mobleys. I am Johnny Mobley Jr. And I'm Deidre Mobley. And we are an ordinary couple. With extraordinary purpose. Listen, we just came by to drop a nugget in your lap real quick. What do you do when you hear this from your spouse? I don't think I can take it anymore. Hello? Let that just sit there for a minute. What do you do? I don't think I can take it anymore, Joker. That's what, what I said. You, you sound real real right there. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you hear that come from your spouse? So this is what we want to do. We want to tell you that everything in life, no matter how big or small it is, it comes through a process. And processes take time. Some short, some long, but they take time. So we tell you one of the hardest processes you probably will have to go through is the change and the and the becoming one in a relationship in a, in a marriage. So we would tell you to persevere. That's our word for you today. It's going to be perseverance. Perseverance is what, Miss Mobley? Perseverance, uh, as a part of the Webster's Dictionary, says it's persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. And you're probably wondering if you can do that. You've done it before in the past. In school, going through different things in school, different subjects, you had to persevere through it to get to the to go through the process to get to the end. There's many things in life that you've done that you had to persevere to mm -hmm. get to where you had to go at. Your relationship with your spouse is no different. It's just an ongoing thing. Yeah. So we come here to encourage you this morning, today. We're here to encourage you today. To say you can push through and you can make it through. You can persevere through whatever issues get you to that point of saying, I don't think I can take it anymore. Because when you get to that point of saying those words, that's that's really strong. So it's that is just an indication that there's been something ongoing for a while. That's my take on it. It's, it's saying that something's been going on that you haven't addressed with your spouse. That's and your that, breaking point. Yeah, yeah. So saying, I don't think I can take it anymore, that means that you've been taking it and you had issues with taking it, but you haven't had that adult conversation with your spouse to say, babe, you know, this is bothering me, or what can we do to make this better, or this is how I feel when, you know, you do this or that. This is how I feel when this happens. And so I think that's the mature thing to do. But I also know that it takes you uh, to a point or it takes you a minute to even get the art of communication down. Because I remember when we first got married, my communication skills were nil to none. They were, you would talk and I would cry for the entire conversation. And then maybe the next day I would write a letter telling you how I felt. Um, because I was a unable to verbalize how I was feeling and cry at the same time. So, with that being said, before it gets to the, I don't think I can take it anymore. I, well, I would think, I would yeah. say that I don't think I can take it no more is needed. Because then you know the breaking point is near. And you need to, just like Deidre said, you need to sit down and have a commute. That means it's time to sit down, take off a layer, and have a, have a real communication. To have a real talk with your spouse. Get right. what you've been wanting to say out, out. I don't think it's, it's bad to say I can't take it anymore. I think it's very healthy because it really gives you a sense of where you're at in your relationship. Right. But I think also those check-in, those weekly check-ins, and if you don't do that, establish that. Those weekly check-ins with each other just to make sure that y'all are good, that y'all are, you know, functioning and talking and communicating because sometimes with jobs and, and bills and babies, and life. you know, and just life in general... You know, things can become lost and things can become a matter of, oh, well, you know, yeah, that may have bothered me, but I'll just tell him about it another time. But like I said, that that suggestion was just a point to say, talk about things before they get to the point of you having to get to that breaking point. Um, I know for us, you know, we got there. But like you said, we were able to put in now... Um, the conversations. We were able to put in the process of how to talk to each other and how to acknowledge what we were feeling while we were feeling it so it wouldn't linger on to get us to that point to where we were hollering at or screaming at, at each other. 
So, yeah. So, that's what we came to say. Just to encourage you to persevere. To pray about it. To, to ask God how to show you how to communicate with your spouse. And how to uh, put those points or put those check-ins in place, how to put those conversations in place to just help you get through those difficult things that may be happening. And some, what, are, what do you think are some examples of, I can't take this anymore? What is this? You can't take him leaving the toilet seat up anymore. You can't take him, uh, you're feeling like he's disregarding your feelings anymore. You can't take her not encouraging you or you know, supporting you as supposed to be his helpmate. What What are some things that, that it is? I can't take it anymore or this anymore. I think it's a combination of a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's a buildup of a, com a combination of a lot of stuff over time. Over time, yeah. So it, it gets you to a place to where, like I said, that that's a, definitely a mark to, to know that something needs to change here. Right. And you need to talk. Um, for all our... Our Bible scholars out there are mm -hmm. going to give you a scripture that one out of many, but um, Romans 5, 3 through 4 says, We rejoice in our suffering, knowing that the suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Listen, it's going to be hard, but if you don't go through it the turns. hardness, yeah. it don't make you stronger. Yeah. The toughness makes you stronger in anything that you do. We can do it as organic as going to the gym. You go to the gym, you get stronger, you get faster, you get healthier over time. It's a process. So we we come to tell you today, do not quit. Yeah. Persevere. Yeah. It's success on the other side. Yeah. And be be intentional because I know there are times, like I said in the beginning, where we, you know, we didn't know how to do that. We didn't know how to communicate. We, didn't, I didn't know how to say I have a problem with this with you because I thought maybe you were going to get mad at me. But as you grow and as you learn, as you flex those muscles of communication, you get to the point to where you can, you know, you can get to a better place. Um, the Bible says that I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. That's Philippians four and thirteen. Write it down. Get get it in your spirit. Um, and this is another thing that you can do. You can have a healthy marriage. You speak it, you say it, you learn how to live it, you learn how to, you know, function with one another and coexist with one another and just, you know, because I'm at the point to where I, we don't get to the I can't take it anymore because yeah, we're we talking passed. about it. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about it. We're, I'm saying, hey, can we have a conversation? This is how this made me feel when this happened. Now, we have gotten to that place. Yeah, we have. But, Absolutely. But we've gotten to that place, and we, we've tried. I've tried to leave. Um, I didn't want to do it no more. I left, and she wouldn't let me leave. She would fight to get me back Yeah. and vice versa. And then at some point in time, after doing the exact same thing over and over, you know, it kind of gets to a place, gets you in a place to where you say, okay, real life is happening now. We got these kids. We got to make better decisions. So that day came to where we sat down and had our first adult conversation. Like, you know, we wasted time, me leaving, and then you coming after me or vice versa. So what we need to do is put some ground rules down. Ain't nobody leaving. Ain't nobody getting no divorce. Yeah. We ain't, you know, all that stuff. Once we put that stuff down and we actually said the words, then it set a foundation and change the course of our relationship and our marriage. Yeah. So as we would continue to learn these things and put it in place, it continue to change the course of our marriage and relationship to a better place, more on track to where God wanted us to be. Yeah. We're not there all the way yet, but we have hit yeah. some marks that God wanted us to hit. So we just want to come and encourage you today. Um, be encouraged. Persevere. Yeah. You can do it. Love one another, you talk to one another, it. communicate with one another. Yeah, this is, and you know, Johnny knows it. This is until death do us part. Us part. Until death. Uh, Nothing but death will keep. Okay, we're going to go ahead because it sounds like she's trying to threaten me right now. But we just want so, to encourage yeah, you, great people. Be encouraged. Um, yeah. Push forward, move forward. You can do it. Persevere. Yeah, to a healthy marriage, a healthy union, a prosperous and blessed union. You can have it. Speak it. Say it. Live it. Do it. Be it. Well said. Amen. Well said. Amen. This has been 
a moment with the Mobleys. I am Johnny Mobley Jr. And I'm Deidre Mobley. And we are something like an ordinary couple. I'm just an ordinary couple with extraordinary purpose. Have an amazing day. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. We'll talk to you soon.